Well, please find some time to get outside today, even if it's just for a few minutes. It is absolutely delightful outside, 69 degrees in Pittsfield, Fryhofer Sky Cam. There's just a slight little breeze, but it's coming out of the north and the west, which is in some ways refreshing. Even though temperatures are near 70, the light breeze coming out of the north is making all the difference. This would show any clouds if there were any, but there really aren't any widespread clouds other than a few isolated pop-up fair weather ones. There's more clouds off towards our south and west. This is associated with what was a pretty strong severe weather outbreak yesterday. You could tell this line does certainly not look as impressive. During this afternoon, though, we'll blossom up a little bit, expecting a severe weather outbreak to take place over Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky. Not going to be as uh, severe as what was experienced last night in Oklahoma, but a piece of this energy will actually be swinging our way late tonight into the day tomorrow. And that's when things start to turn more unsettled. But until that point, it is extremely nice outside. 71 already in Albany, same in Saratoga. 65 Rutland to 68 in Danby, as well as in Bennington. 69 Pittsfield, 65 Halkett, as well as in Lake Pleasant. So it's one of those days where everyone's going to basically be north of 70. Maybe a few spots in the cooler spots, Rutland, Indian Lake may hang just near 70, but everyone gets elsewhere into the mid to upper 70s. Then tonight, clouds start to increase likely after midnight. So early evening plans should be great. A great night to take a walk outside. It's then closer towards daybreak that these showers begin to develop from west to east. Don't be surprised to hear a rumble of thunder. There could also be some downpours. It's more of a widespread rain. Then there'll be a break for a few hours later in the morning into the early afternoon. I think temperatures pop once again, especially off towards the south and west. A little cooler and cloudier off towards the north. But the warmer temperatures tomorrow afternoon will actually likely destabilize the atmosphere. So if there are any scattered showers or storms, could be a few stronger ones, especially off towards the south and west. Over the north and east, you may get some showers later tomorrow afternoon, but not anticipating those being severe. And again, tomorrow afternoon showers are more scattered than they are widespread. So the best shower threat essentially is tomorrow morning. Then we'll have a 50-50 shot at seeing a shower or a storm tomorrow afternoon. Some spots may get a downpour, some spots may be dry. Then we enter a bit of a reprieve Wednesday night into the first part of Thursday. But notice going into Thursday afternoon, that rain threat starts to rise again. That's because another system is going to be on its way, a slow mover that's just going to be sitting and spinning over the northeast and give way for a pretty dreary stretch, especially later Thursday into the day on Friday. Pretty reminiscent, unfortunately, of the weather we had on Sunday. So it's going to be rainy, cool, and breezy. Before it's all said and done, this is the total combined rainfall from Wednesday, tomorrow through Friday. And I think everyone at least gets a half an inch with some spots exceeding an inch, if not a little bit more than that, an inch and a, uh, an, an inch and a half, certainly possible if you get under a downpour over the next three days. So a pretty dreary stretch on the way, especially Thursday, Friday. The good news is the worst of it should be out of here by the weekend. The bad news is we don't completely clear out. The brighter day looks to be Saturday with at least some sun. Sunday, sun might be hard to come by. It's a little warmer, but the shower threat is a bit higher. Neither day, th though, does look like a washout. So Tulip Fest will still be a go. It's just an umbrella, especially on Sunday, would be a wise choice. This afternoon, mid to upper 70s, mostly sunny, warm, and beautiful. Tonight, we're dry and pleasant the first half of the night, and then closer towards the daybreak, a shower or storm threat is on the rise. Tomorrow, it showers and storms early, a break for a few hours, and then a more scattered chance in the afternoon. Also, a bit breezy in the afternoon, gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Here's a seven-day forecast. One more warm day tomorrow, then temperatures start to and take a nosedive in some ways. Thursday, upper 60s. Friday, upper 50s. We do warm up a bit this weekend. Still relatively cool before we get back to near 70 by next Monday. Lara? All right, Sam, thanks.